Joe Amoya, founder and creator of GPSForLove.com. Do you have a history of relationships that start off great? There's all this excitement and there's all this chemistry in the beginning. And you're thinking, you know, it's an inevitable that you found the one. And then sooner or later, you found out he's just like everyone else. Or do you often find that you're pursuing guys that just disappear? And that excitement, you're wondering, like, what happened? You know, everything was great. He was, he was totally into me. And then he's completely gone. Well, if so, you're going to love today's video because today we're going to talk about the thing that you should be focusing on. See, normally what happens in this is you focus on something which is called passion. And passion is kind of like a drug. You know, it's intoxicating. It's fun. It's exciting. You just love the feeling that it gives you. But eventually that passion wears out. And when it wears out, if that's, that's if the guy hasn't left yet. But when the passion wears down, you're like, what's going on? You know, who is this guy? Why am I not having the kind of relationship that I really want? And instead of looking for passion, what you should be looking for is love because love is more fulfilling. So I say the best way to kind of ex explain it is kind of like think, think of passion like a candy bar, okay? Or ice cream, you, you know, those sugary, tasty, loving treats that, you know, we all adore, but you know, ultimately after, you know, the experience wears off, we don't like the results that we're left with, right? Where love is more like a salad or, you know, a grilled chicken cutlet. It may not be as exciting, but it tastes good. It's fulfilling and it ultimately leads to the great results. And so that's ultimately what you want to do in your love life is you want to focus on love on fulfillment, that long-term experience that you're looking for, and not so much on the passion. Now, don't get me wrong. I know you're going to send me emails, saying, Joe, but you know, chemistry is important. You know, I've got to have, I'm not saying that at all. It's very, very, very important. You know, you've got to have passion. There's got to be chemistry, but that's just simply one slice of the pie. It shouldn't be the only thing you're focusing on. You know, you shouldn't just be focusing on that intoxicating feeling. A good relationship is more than that. You know, I was talking to a, a single woman yesterday and we were talking about, you know, chemistry, this very same thing, you know, and, and got to have the passion, you know, like she's got to feel it. And I said, do me a favor. The next time your mortgage is due, go to the bank and tell the teller that, you know what, sorry, I don't have the mortgage today, but I've got a great, I've got great, amazing chemistry with my mate. See how far that gets you. See, see what happens is when you're doubled over in pain and you need to go to the emergency room and you need to partner to come home early. Okay, See how far that chemistry gets you. And again, I'm not saying it's not important, but it's not the foundation that a good, healthy, fulfilling relationship is built on. So if you're single and if you're trying to create a great relationship or you're in a relationship now and you're wondering if it's really the kind of relationship that you want to have, what you want to do is take some mirror time and ask yourself, what am I focusing on? Passion or love? Because hopefully what you've learned from this video is it's not the same. So I want to hear from you. What questions do you have? What's coming up? If you look over your past, do you have a habit of focusing on passion? Come on, be completely honest now. You know, Do you go for the chemistry, the spark, the excitement, which feels good initially, but which ultimately lets you down? Or have you been focusing on the love, you're just having a hard time finding it? So go ahead, take your mirror time, put your question, comments, and feedback in the box below. I'll see you next time. Much love.